Welcome back to this series, your ultimate guide to video editing in CapCut. I'm Steven Womack, and if you've been following along, we've already put together the arrangement of our video clips in the previous episode. In today's episode, episode number two, we're going to delve into the world of speed manipulation for video. From slowing things down for dramatic effects to speeding them up for a little extra flair. And guess what? CapCut has some exciting speed curve presets that you do not want to miss out on. So let's jump right in. So to start, just open your project in CapCut and then select the video clip that you want to adjust the speed for. Now you can just click this speed tab here and then you'll see a slider on the upper right side here that allows you to slow down or speed up the clip. Now, slowing down can add, let's say, more drama or emphasize certain moments while speeding it up brings more of a energetic or fun vibe to your video. So just make sure to adjust the speed to match your video style and the message that you wanna bring across. Now, CapCut goes even a step further and offers these speed curves here, which provide even more control over the speed of your video. So just click on the speed curve tab here, and then we can create a custom speed curve by adding keyframes and adjusting the positions so you can just pull these around and these speed curves basically allow you to create unique speed variations within one clip so for example you could have a slow motion section in the beginning of your clip by having these keyframes low here and then that is followed by a fast paced sequence if you pull these keyframes up towards the end and that is all in one video clip so that can really um, create creative looks in your videos. And now let's get to the real gem and that are CapCut speed curve presets. These are pre-designed speed curve profiles that can instantly transform your video. So these presets are perfect for adding a professional touch without spending hours fine tuning these curves yourself. Again, you can have slow motion sections that are followed by a more fast paced sequence with this flash out curve here for example or another example is this bullet curve here where the clip starts quickly and then as you can see here slows down in the middle by these keyframes going down this curve going down and then speeds back up towards the end where the curve goes back up and of course you can always adjust these curves to your liking again um, by just toggling around these keyframes and figuring out what works best for your video. So feel free to try out all of these different speed curve options here to find the one that best matches the flow of your video. Now for my video here, I want to choose this flash in curve to make it start fast and then slow it down towards the end of the video. And that is a wrap for episode number two. We've learned how to adjust the speed of your video clips in CapCut, whether we want to slow things down for a little more drama or speed them up for some extra excitement. Remember, mastering video speed can significantly enhance your storytelling and the overall style of your videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more CapCut video editing content. To get started with CapCut and explore all these incredible features for yourself, download it from the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting tutorials coming your way.